Happy Midsection Monday, everybody. Here is your Monday workout. I'm gonna go ahead and demo the whole thing for you. I'll also go ahead and post this as well, and then you can write it down for yourself, okay? I'm gonna demo it all right now on the ground, okay? Um, you are going to set your timer for one minute of work, and then you are going to set it for 15 seconds of recovery. And then in between each exercise here, one through 10, you are going to do mountain climbers, 30 seconds of mountain climbers in between, okay? First exercise on the list is V-ups or V-ins. You get to pick whichever one you wanna do. You do down on the ground like this, and you're either gonna come all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down, or go V-ins right here. Okay, your next exercise is gonna be a Superman reach and pull. You're gonna lay down on your belly here. You're gonna lift your legs up and you're gonna reach and pull. Keep those legs elevated the entire time. Moving on to exercise number three, you're moving into an alternating reverse lunge with a chop. On this one, you are uh, more than welcome to use a dumbbell. Okay, so you can use a dumbbell here. You're gonna go stand in front. You're gonna go reverse lunge and then chop it up right here. Reverse lunge and then chop. You're just gonna keep on rotating, it's not a race. Go ahead and rest that leg on the ground, come all the way down, and then all the way up. Okay, and then your next exercise, number four, is a plank dumbbell pull through. You're gonna grab a sandbag or a dumbbell or a laundry detergent, whatever you want. Go as heavy as you are more than welcome to. You're gonna be here, you're gonna pull it over, pull it through, opposite hand, opposite foot, and or uh, opposite pull, and then you're gonna move on to exercise number five. It is a double straight leg raise to a flutter kick. So if you wanna have a dumbbell, you may. If not, no worries, this is what it looks like. Time to shape underneath your booty button. Shoulders up off the mat. You're gonna go double straight leg raise. And then you're gonna go flutter kick, flutter kick. Double straight leg raise, flutter kick, flutter kick. Make sure that low back is stuck to the ground. Low back is pressed into that mat so you can protect your lower back. Moving on, number six is a hollow hold single arm chest press. So we're gonna start on, on the right hand side. You're gonna use a dumbbell, whatever you got. You're gonna roll your shoulders down and back. Lift those uh, legs up off of the ground here. Shoulders up, low back pressed into the ground, and you're gonna be right here. Shoulders are elevated. Your upper abs are engaged the entire time. Lower abs are engaged as well. You'll do that for one minute on one side. Try to stay up as long as you can. If you have to rest, then you do, but try to do the whole thing in a row, okay? And then after that, you got a one minute plank cold. So you can put your feet up on a chair if you want, or just do a regular one from your hands or your elbows. Elbows underneath those shoulders, straight line, belly button tucked into those spines, and you're just gonna hold it for one minute. If you want, you can lift up your leg. You can alternate, do whatever you want right here, and just hang on tight for one minute, okay? And then you are going to go into um, butterfly sit-ups, all right? So you're gonna be here, butterfly sit-ups here. If you want, you can have a dumbbell on your chest. If not, you are just right here. Core tight, abs tight for one minute. And then you're moving on into a single arm chest press left side, okay? Single arm chest press left side. So you're gonna be here, right here and you're gonna press. Same thing, you can take that arm across your chest, press that low back into the ground, exhaling at the top and make sure those shoulder blades are up off of the ground. Then you are moving into a sit up to an alternating punch, all right? So you're gonna be here and all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab its matching pair, if you want, or no dumbbells, and you're just gonna go sit up Alternate and rotate through that waistline here. Alternate side to side. All right. Then you're going to end with a um, hundred jump rope. And then you are going to run either one to three miles at the very end. You got two to three rounds to do here. Remember, you got 30 seconds worth of mountain climbers in between every exercises. So it's 10 exercises. 30 seconds of mountain climbers in between. And then after you're done with two to three rounds of the entire thing, you're gonna go run one to three miles. If it's raining, 
do a thousand jump rope instead. Okay. Hope you have an awesome day. Let us know if you did it and uh, we will see you soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.